Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Biomedical.in. I am Kush and I haven't been active for quite some time now. But now is the opportune moment to be active in the field of biomedical engineering. You know the reason why? It is because the GATE exam has started in the field of biomedical engineering. You know, back there in 2008, when I was in the second year of my engineering, I was wondering that in which field of engineering I should give my gate in. At that time, either I had to give in electronics or communication or in instrumentation engineering. But today, from next year onwards, gate would be there in biomedical engineering. In 2010, when GATE was announced in biotechnology, I was really hopeful and happy, thinking that biomedical engineering will soon start in a year's time. But it took almost a decade. But enough of ranting about what is going to happen or what has happened. Now, let's dive in into what is GATE and GATE biomedical engineering all about this time. So, as you know, the GATE 2020 is being organized by Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. Generally, any GATE exam is conducted by either of the seven old IITs or IISC. Last time, it was IIT Madras and this time, it is IIT Delhi. So, GATE exam is used to select students for the master's program, PhD program as well as to select them for the top government jobs. That is the reason why I am so excited. As they have started GATE in biomedical engineering, they might also start hiring in the government jobs on the basis of GATE biomedical engineering. So the important dates which you need to keep in mind are 1st and 2nd of February and 8th and 9th of February. Those are the important days when the exam is going to be held. The more important dates are the day when the application opens, that is on the 3rd September 2019. And the final date for submitting the application is 1st October 2019. So why it is special? It is special because this time we are going to have GATE in biomedical engineering. So what is going to be the slavers for GATE in biomedical engineering this time? So the modules for any GATE exam, there are 10 different modules and they will be asking 100 questions based on those modules. And generally if you score like 35 or 36, you are above the cutoff and you get the admission. So the top five modules are the same as they were in the instrumentation engineering. But the new five modules are, first one is the sensors and bioinstrumentation. It includes all the ECG, EKG, and all the bioelectronics and instrumentation part of it. Although a small portion of the instrumentation engineering also included uh, bioinstrumentation previously, but this time it is exclusively bioinstrumentation. And I really like that. And the second one is human anatomy and physiology. Human anatomy and physiology, most of us study during the first year of engineering and then we never use it. But GATE exam is going to test you on that. And the third one being biomechanics. Biomechanics is essential and there, there are a large number of topics related to biomechanics because the, you can be asked multiple questions related to biomechanics. It is a very important segment of the module which they have introduced. Next one is the medical imaging systems. Being a research in medical imaging, it's, I feel really nice that this has been included in the GATE biomedical engineering syllabus. The next one is biomaterials. You know, a lot of overlap exists between the biotechnology and biomedical in the field of biomaterials. And it is good that this time they have biomaterials as the next module. So all these five modules, it hasn't been done before. There hasn't been any questions related to that before. So it is going to be a, a really challenging preparation because you have to learn new concepts. You have to learn the new questions and how you're going to solve them. 
and that's where biomedical dot in and I am going to help you out. So basically my reason of coming back is gate as well as to introduce you to various topics of biomedical engineering in an interesting manner. So I'm going to help you in the preparation strategy. I'm going to help you in the time management. I'm going to help you in the learning various concepts, complex concepts to simple concepts related to biomedical engineering. And I'm also going to look into different questions and what should be our strategy to answer those questions. Apart from that, I'm always available for you, for you to help you related to your careers, exam tips and whatnot. Everything is coming on this channel. So who it is for? I should have told that earlier, you know, but still never the late. It is for all the biomedical engineers. It is for any engineer who wants to study biomedical engineering in the master's program. It is also for physicians who want to get training in biomedical engineering. And it is also for the faculty members who are looking for interesting ways to improve their teaching methods and take it to the next level. Friends, I think now it's time to get started. So subscribe the channel and press the bell icon and I will catch you soon with some new material. Thank you for watching.